had a great turnout tonight. I think uh, we took advantage of the beautiful common, and I think that really drew a lot of people uh, out here. You know, it's a great place for an event like this. And uh, thank all our partners that showed up uh, to help us out, you know, get the word out on certain causes, but mainly on uh, crime prevention. And that's what we're all about. We're the fourth safest community in Massachusetts, and we want to be one. So we've got to do many events uh, like this uh, throughout the year uh, to educate people. But, of course, this is, this is our big one that we do. And uh, hopefully we keep uh, building on it and uh, have an even more successful one next year. Absolutely. And uh, what influenced the decision to have it on the town common uh, this year? Well, I think, uh, you know, we have uh, our, our regulars over the past few years uh, that get the word out. But a lot of times, it's just people, uh, you know, it's a type of location where they're just driving by, they'll pull over, check out what's going on, and uh, get a nice surprise when they get a burger or a hot dog for free, and <laughs> which is great. And, uh, you know, it, it, this is what the uh, community policing is all about. And, uh, problem solving and educating uh, the public and uh, this certainly goes a long way. And uh, lastly a, a bit of a change with the uh, canine demonstration uh, this year. Can you talk about what the canine demonstration was this year? Yeah, a normal canine uh, uh, officer out of Holliston uh, got a new assignment. He became chief of police so we, uh, we called on our partners from the sheriff's department to help us out and they did a great job but uh, hopefully next year It'll be an HBD uh, K-9 unit out there. That's something uh, we're looking into, and uh, that it would certainly be great. Uh, people love it, the K-9, and uh, it would be a great asset for this community. I think it would be a, a good investment. So now I'll start to focus on him because he's getting closer to him. Right? I'm just hanging out, doing a demo. What are you doing? No, he's not, sir. No, no, you can't. No. Not that friendly. I can shake your hand though, that's that. Right. How you doing? Good. 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 So I don't talk very loud to him, he hears all my whispers to him. That dog. Now, in a second, he'll release the sleeve. Watch the dog. He'll prance around with this thing. His tail will be hitting his back. And this is the game. That's his trophy that he just won this game. We keep everything fun for the dogs. And everything's a game for them. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> The big thing for today is kind of bring the audience, uh, let the public know a little bit what the Middlesex Sheriff's Canine Unit's all about. Um, my uh, canine partner is Pebbles. She's a three-year-old yellow lab. She's uh, strictly narcotics right now, and we're slowly teaching her some tracking for missing children, missing elderly people. But for right now, we just do all the narcotics for Middlesex County. So I have Canine Elmo. He's a three-year-old Dutch Shepherd. He's a dual purpose. He does narcotics and he does patrol functions. Uh, what we demonstrated here today was we brought out Pebbles and we did narcotics finds for her. She sniffed out three different bags. One of them contained live odors, which she found and we fed her on repetitions on that. And then for Canine Elmo, we did a, a little apprehension work with the bite sleeve and we just educated all the questions and Terrific. And uh, how long have you guys uh, been working with the K-9 unit, if you don't mind me asking? So we actually both got on at the same time, so a little over a year and a half now uh, on the K-9 unit, and we both have 11 years with the department. Totally. All right. And have you done uh, shows like this before, or is this your first time out? At no, we've actually done, uh, we we'll probably do at least 150 shows a year for the past year, uh, last year and this year, so we do, we do quite a few. So in our in our dog school in our training, we had multiple officers doing these types of exercises. 